Hey guys, my name is Ari. I'm gonna be your Pilates instructor for today. We're doing a 45 minute reformer workout. So let's get started. All right, so we're gonna start with the reformer. Foot bar all the way up to the top position. Head rest up in three springs, a red, yellow, and a blue spring. And then come seated onto your carriage and roll on back to your back. All the way down. All right, let's start with those toes onto the foot bar, heels together, Pilates V, neutral spine, so a little bit of space underneath your low back. Take a big inhale, squeeze the heels together and press the legs out straight, squeeze the inner thighs, and then bend the carriage back in. Exhale, press the carriage out and bend it back in. Exhale, press and a bend. Let those legs start warming up. Notice what the spine wants to do. As you press long or bend in, can you try to keep the space underneath your low back? We have for another four. And for another three. Two more. Squeezing the inner thighs at the top. Last one. And bend the carriage all the way in. All right, take those feet wide onto the foot bar. Now the heels press onto the edge of the foot bar. Toes reaching back towards your kneecaps. Lift that low back, press the carriage out, and then bend it back in. Now imagine yourself squeezing in on an imaginary horse, so that same feeling of squeezing the inner thighs together we just did. Although the legs are apart, we still wanna to try to find that traction inward. Pressing the sacrum down, exhaling on the way out. Can you narrow your waist for another four? The spring load is a little bit lighter here for normal double feet onto the foot bar. So can you try to think about creating your own resistance? So really cueing up the back of the legs. Exhale, pressing it out. We have for another four, for another three, and a two. Good, one more. All the way out, lengthen long, long, long and then bend the carriage in. All right, now bring those feet parallel hip width distance. Right heel is gonna stay onto the foot bar. Lift the left leg into tabletop. Here's where it gets trickier. All right, so flex the right foot, keep the hips where they're at, press the carriage out. Nice long leg with the right leg, bend it in. Exhale, press it out. Try to keep the left leg in a good 90 degree angle. If this feels good and you wanna add on an extra layer, as you come in, Press the left foot over the foot bar and then bring it back into that tabletop position. Reach the left heel, bring it into tabletop. We have for five, exhale out. And a four, exhale out. And a three, exhale out. And a two, exhale out. And a one, hold the left leg into tabletop. Bring the right leg in halfway, little pulses here. Eight and seven, feel that right thigh working. And a five and four, and three, and two, and one. All right, hold that carriage still, hold it for five. Hold it for four, hold it for three. Squeeze the glutes for one, and then press it all the way out. Good, come on in. Come down to your right toes. Now lengthen the left leg over the foot bar. Reach the energy long away from you. Press the carriage out, lift the left leg to the ceiling. Bend it in, reach the left leg long. Now as the left leg goes up, if you feel this in your low back at all, go straight back into the bent knee. That's totally fine. If the left leg is going straight up towards the ceiling, try to keep that low back off the ground for that neutral spine. Keep the right knee reaching over the right toes. Parallel here for another four. And a three. And a two, exhaling on the way out. And a one, hold this one all the way out and straight. Now flex both feet so the right heel goes under the foot bar, press into the toes, reach the top toes. Flex and point. Three, and lift. Four, and lift. Five, and lift. Six, and lift. Seven, and lift. Eight, and lift. Two more, nine, and lift. Last one, 10, and lift. Keep the lift of the heel. Bend it in, reach the left leg forward. Now we're gonna combine both. Lengthen out, flex the feet, point the toes, and then bend it in. Good, and again, out, and a flex, and a point, and an in, and a out, and a flex, and a point, and a an in, and a an out, 
flex, point, and in three more sets, up and down and lift. Bring the carriage in two more sets, up and out and reach. Last set, up, lower the heel, lift the heel. Nice, now from here, drop the right heel underneath. Bring the left knee in. Give it a nice pull for a little stretch. Good, and then bring the carriage back in. Awesome, place the left heel onto the foot bar. Right leg into tabletop. Refine that neutral spine. Exhale everything out. Press the left heel into the foot bar. Bend it in. Exhale, press it out. Bend it in. If you add it on the layer on the opposite side, maybe you do it on this side. Lengthen the right heel over the foot bar and bend it back in. And long with the right. And in. And along. And in. Good. Keep the energy in the right leg as well as the left. Flex the toes. Good, guys. We have for another four. And a three. Narrowing the waist on the way out. Two. And last one. Hold the right knee where it's at. Bend the left leg in halfway. Now little pulses. Up and down. Little pulses here. Good. We have for five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Hold it still for five. Hold it still for four. And three. And two. Flex the toes back towards your face. And extend it all the way out. Awesome. Come on in. Come down to your left toes. Now reach your right leg nice and long. Refine that neutral spine. Lengthen through the crown of the head. All the way out. Reach the leg long up towards the ceiling. Lower it in. Lower the right leg. Press it long. Control the carriage in. Press it out. Control the carriage in. And a four. And a five. And a six. Keep the left heel lifted as much as possible. We have two more after this one. Good. Keep that right leg long, long, long up towards the ceiling. Hold it here. Now from here, flex the feet. Point the toes. Flex and point. Three and lift. Four and lift. Keep narrowing the waist. Five and a six and seven and an eight and a nine and a ten. Hold it here. We're going to combine them. Bend in. Lengthen the right leg. Exhale. Press out. Flex and point. Bend in. Reach. Exhale out. Flex and point. Bend in and reach. Exhale up. Flex and point. Good. Four more sets. Up. Flex. Point. Three more sets. Out. Flex and point. Keep reaching the right leg. Long, long, long. Two more sets. Out. Flex and point. Last set. Feel the burn of the left leg. Flex. Point. Hold it here. Drop the left heel underneath. Give a nice squeeze on that right leg. Good work. All right, place both feet on. Give a little stretch here. Let's do some running. Right and left. Right heel goes under as you bend the left knee. Left heel goes under as you bend the right. Good, hold to the right. One longer stretch here. Feel those calves. Other side. All right, bring that carriage to close. All right, sit up for a second. Bring those feet off to the side. We're gonna lower the weight down to just a red blue. So take off the yellow and return all the way back onto your back. All right, so knees are gonna come up to tabletop, belly button to spine. Grab onto your straps. Hands are gonna go into your shorter loops here. Then the hands are gonna come straight up towards the ceiling. Hold them right above your shoulders. Keep the rib cage closed, belly button to spine. Take an inhale through your nose. Exhale, press your hands down tight in your waist. <sighs> inhale, the arms back up. Two more times like that, keeping the head down and the knees still. <sighs> really focusing on the abs reaching down to your low spine. Exhale. <sighs> Good, now let's add the head, neck, and shoulder curl up. Exhale, round, reach up. <sighs> Look at your inner thighs. And then lower it back down. Exhale, reach towards the foot bar, round up. Good, try to bust your hands through the straps as you're reaching really far. Nice, now if it feels okay, add on a layer of extending the legs. Exhale everything up. Exhale everything up. Whatever layer you're choosing, 
Try to reach the fingertips towards the foot bar, not down to the ground. And notice where the legs go. If they're going down and transferring weight into the foot bar and your low back is popping up, maybe you're going too low. Exhale up, hold it here. Nice, from here, keep reaching the hands to the foot bar. Bend your right leg in. Bend your left leg in. Bend your right. Bend your left. Bend your right. Bend your left, hold your left, bend both. Now we add in our arms and legs, bend at the elbows. Exhale, press both. Bend at the elbows. Exhale, press both. Bend at the elbows. Exhale, press both. We have five more, five, four, three, two, one, hold, and then come on down. Nice work. Bring the heels together, knees apart. We're making a diamond with our free feet or like froggy position. Just a little bit higher. So the left hand's gonna go through the center as the right hand goes on the outside. Round up, reach long past your thigh. And then come back up to the top. Exhale, round up, reach your right hand through, left hand on the outside. Back up. And exhale, reach. Back up towards the ceiling. Good, we have five more. Five. And a four. And a three. And a two. And last one. Nice, take it to center. Bring those knees back into tabletop. We're gonna do a set of hundreds, here we go. Take a big inhale, keep that low back down. Exhale up to your hundreds position. Keep reaching the toes, reaching the hands, and then think of belly button down, pulsing those arms. Inhale, exhale, two, three, four, 10. Inhale, exhale, two, three, four, 20. Keep reaching, and a 30, inhale. And a exhale, two, three, four, five, 40, inhale. And a exhale, two, three, four, halfway, inhale. Good, squeezing those inner thighs, 60, inhale. And a exhale, two, three, four, 70, inhale. Exhale, two, three, four, 80, keep reaching. Squeezing the legs, 90, inhale. And a exhale, two, three, four, 100. Come on down, nice work. Good, place those straps back up onto your silver pegs. And let's take a step off. We're gonna change the reformer around. All right, so foot bar goes all the way down to the bottom. All right, change your springs to a single yellow. Headrest goes down. All right, and then grab onto your long box. All right, from here, we're gonna come lying down onto your stomach. So, best way to do this, get on from the side. Hands go on the corner of the box. Place your rib cage on your right leg, then your left leg. Just make sure you're nice and safe as you get on. Rib cage on, chest off, shoulder blades down. Grab onto those straps, up onto the tape. Shoulder blades down, lift the belly button, reach those legs. If this feels a little bit, um, if your low back starts to trigger and doesn't feel good, you're more than welcome to bend your knees. Keep lengthening those legs if you can, belly button up, arms reach long down to the side of the carriage. Exhale those arms up to your side body, and then bring them back down. Exhale up, reaching the head away from the toes. Now if you wanna find an extension with the spine, as the arms reach up, you can shine your chest forward. Then lower it back down to your neutral position. Exhale up and back down. Exhale up and back down. Exhale up, back down. Exhale up and back down. Awesome, from here, we're gonna find the arms holding at the up position. Bend at the elbows and then lengthen long. Bend at the elbows and lengthen long. Bend and lengthen. Five, four, Three, two, and a one. Reach it long, come on down. All right, we're gonna find the combination of that. I'm gonna scooch myself back, I'll slide forward. Um, we're gonna find the combination of that. So, arms are gonna go up in a straight line, bend once, reach once, then lower. And again, reach up, bend once, 
Reach once and lower. Reach once, bend once, reach up and lower. Three more sets. Exhale and bend and a reach and a lower and a lift and a bend and a reach and a lower. Good, up and bend and reach and a lower. Nice, take a little break here. Let the head go, hands can reach along the carriage. Let the feet go. All right, we queue up, shoulder blades down your back. Arms are gonna open up like an airplane to the side. From here, pinch your pinkies back to your hip bones, back to the side of the room. Exhale, pull, and then bring it back out wide. Exhale, pull, bring it back out wide. So where you grip on the strap, so tape or um, little straps connected to the loops, the higher one, more resistance. The lower one, it lessens the load. So pick whichever's best for you. Exhale, pull back, and re-reach to the side. Exhale, pull back, re-reach to the side. We have for five, and a four, and a three, and a two, and a one. Pinch those arms back. Nice, reach it out to the side. One more time, let that head fall to the ground. Good, let the legs feel relaxed. All right, place those straps back onto your pegs. Take a step off to the side. We're gonna flip around facing the front. So, from here, we're gonna sit facing with the hips, or sorry, with the sits bones onto the box. Take a seat back, and then we're gonna grab on to your straps. I like to do legs straight out in front of you. You can do straddling the box if that feels better. So straight out's gonna work a little bit more on that posture, lifting up through the crown of the head. All right, so squeeze those inner thighs, roll the shoulder blades down, exhale, press those hands forward. Lift them up to short, shoulder height, lower back down. Exhale, reach with your pinky side of the hand more than your thumb or your pointer finger. Now as you go up, think of narrowing your waist back. And lift. Good. We have for another five. And for another four. And for another three. And for another two. Lifting through the crown of the head. And last one, lift it up. From here, serve a tray. Squeeze the elbows in. Exhale, reach the arms long. Squeeze the elbows in. Exhale, reach the arms long. In. And exhale, reach. In. And exhale, reach. We have for five. And a four. And a three. Exhale out. And a two. Last one. Reach it all the way long. Good, bring it back down. All right, so those arms are gonna come out to the side for hug a tree. Make sure that the elbows don't go back behind your spine at the beginning of this position. So you wanna start your position, elbows in line or in front of the shoulders. Now from here, exhale, close. Feel like whatever you're hugging, your belly button is pulling away from it. Open those arms, exhale, pull the belly button back. And lift tall, three, and a four, and a five, and a six, and seven, lift tall, eight, and a nine, last one, 10, bring those arms down. All right, so from here, the hands are gonna go back into that serve tray position. The hands are gonna flip under, or to flip over, and then palms face up, like you're gonna press on a box or give somebody a high five. Press your hands, elbows come back into your side body. Exhale, press, almost like you're doing like a um, tricep push-up. Press something away, bring it back. Exhale, press, bring it back to center. Lift through the crown of your head, and exhale, press. We have for another six, and a five, and four, and a three, and a two. Nice, last one, exhale, press. Good, bring it down. Place those straps away. 
Put the shoulder, or put the straps back onto the pegs. Take a step off. All right, let's change this box. So you're gonna put the box short box ways in front of the shoulder blocks. Make sure it's snug up against. We're gonna do a little bit of a plank series here. Make sure no matter what, if you need to take a break, bring that carriage all the way into close, then pl place the knees down. So come kneeling onto the carriage. Feet are gonna be onto the wooden platform behind you. Make sure you kind of hug the, the edge of it. Elbows down. What we wanna make sure is that the elbows don't splay out. We wanna keep squeezing the elbows in to turn on the chest and really feel like everything's pulling into the midline. That'll help a lot. Then press the forearms heavy down into that box. All right, so from here, elbows down. You can either choose to be parallel like numbers 11 or have the hands come together like a mountaintop. From here, pull the belly button up, hover the knees up and off, press yourself out to your plank. Let's hold this for a second. Shoulder blades down. Think of lifting the belly button up to the spine, engaging the inner thighs, and then sending the heels back. Reach the crown of the head and feel like somebody's pulling the ears. Take an inhale, and then exhale. Bring the carriage into that tabletop position with the legs. Exhale, press it out. Bring the knees in. And exhale, press it out. Bring the knees in. Exhale, press it out. Good, we have for another six. Exhale, out. For another five. Four. Three. And two. Hold this next one out long. All right, transfer your weight into your left toes. Lift the right leg up. Bring it in. Press it out. Bring the right foot down. Lengthen your left toes. Bring the left one in. Press it out. Lengthen down. One more time each side. Lift and in and out and down. Last time. Lift and in and out and down. Hold. Bring those knees in. Touch the carriage. Come on up. Take a tiny little break. All right. We're going to do another set of planking. Hands come down. Shoulder blades down your back. Refine the engagement of your abs. Press it out. Hold this plank. Now we're gonna press the carriage away from us. Nothing else moves, so your body stays long and straight. Press the carriage three inches in front of you. Pull it back underneath your shoulders. Press the carriage out, and then pull it back underneath. Three, and pull it back underneath. Four, pull it back underneath. Five, pull it back underneath. Six, and underneath. Seven, and an eight. And a nine. Last one, 10. Pull it underneath, hold it here. Nice, bend the knees in. Okay, we have one last set, hiking. Hips are gonna reach up towards the ceiling. Pulling the box in, think of only doing this from your abs, not from your hip flexors. So you really wanna think of poking your stomach up. That's your guiding force. Elbows down, press those shoulder blades down your back. Lift the abdominals, hover the knees. Press it out, engage those legs. Now from here, take a big inhale, and exhale, lift the stomach up, bring it back out, peer over the hands. Exhale, lift, peer over the hands. Exhale, lift, peer over the hands. Exhale, lift, peer over the hands. We have for five, and out, four, three, Last two. Good, last one. Hold it out, hold it for four. Hold it for three. Hold it for two, tighten the abs. And one, good, come on in. Good, let's take a step off to the side. Take this box off. Return it to the back of your carriage. Awesome. All right, so from here, we're gonna stay with this, oh sorry, we're gonna pull up the headrest rather. Pull up the headrest. We're gonna add a red to your yellow. Red to your yellow and then pull this foot bar all the way up to the top. All the way up. All right, come lying down onto your back. Rolling it all the way down. All right, take those straps. We're gonna press the carriage out with your feet. Now from here, keep the left foot as your base. Place your right foot into your long loop. Press that leg out long. 
Now your left leg. Good, nice and steady. Keep that low back off the carriage just a little bit. Shoulder blades down. Nice from here, just a simple tick tock. Lengthen the legs up towards the ceiling and then lower it back down. Lengthen the legs up towards the ceiling and then lower it back down. Lift high. Now as the legs go up, can you think of creating a little bit of space underneath your low back? Good, so we really wanna avoid letting the tailbone lift. That feels kind of good and really too easy. So keep pressing the tailbone down as the legs go up. We have for five. Try to avoid letting the rib cage open. That's a cue for myself. 99% of the time, I have to tell myself, keep the rib cage closed. So you're not alone if you're in that boat. For another three. And a two. Last one. Hold it long out in front of you. Reach those toes. Now turn out the feet, flex the feet. Bend the knees in for froggy. Keep those heels pressing together. Squeeze those legs out. Bend in, press the heels tighter. Press it out. And it in. And it press it out. And in. Exhale, press. Good, in. And exhale, press. Squeezing those inner thighs, really driving with the heel of the foot. Good, try to think of rotating your inner thighs up towards the sky. As the peaky toes try to spiral down to the ground. And a one, hold it out. Point those toes nice and long. We're gonna go to the V, and then flex those heels, pull them in to touch. Good, point those toes, go to like, a 45 degree angle V. Flex, and then bring the heels to touch. Point to open, flex to pull together and zip up the inner thighs. Point to open, and exhale, bring the heels to touch. Point to open, and exhale, pull to touch. Three, two, last one. Good, now we're gonna combine the two. We bend the knees in, Reach out to the long V with the pointed toes. Bring the legs to touch. Flex and bend. Point. Bring the legs to touch. Bend. Point it out. Flex to bring the heels to touch. Bend it in. Point to go out to the V. Flex the heels to touch. Three more. Bend in. And point. And flex. Two more. One more. And heels to touch. Nice parallel those feet. Legs go straight up towards the ceiling. And leg circles. Take the legs out to the side. Bring them together. So let's start with a little bit smaller circle. Open up the width of the carriage. Bring it down to the width of your foot bar. And then bring them together to touch. Lift and open and to touch. Now let's do three wider. So wherever your body feels comfortable, take those legs wider. Bring them together to touch up towards the ceiling, wider. Exhale, bring them together to touch. Lift, exhale, bring them together to touch. Good, bring them legs up towards the ceiling. Now the opposite, lengthen the legs down. Stay the width of the carriage, open up the width of the foot bar, lift it up towards the ceiling and then close. Down, open and lift and squeeze. Last time in this smaller circle, Good, now we go bigger circle. A little bit more contemporary version. Open the legs up, squeeze those inner thighs, lengthen long, and a lengthen out, and squeeze those legs. Last time, and up, and squeeze. Nice, from here, turn those legs out, bring them in, bottoms of your feet together. One little stretch here. Lengthen your right leg out, holding onto the straps with both hands. Good, bring the soles of the feet to touch. Knees are still out wide. Now your left leg goes out to the side. Good, little stretch here. Good work, guys. Bring those legs in. Nice, nice and easy. You're gonna take your right strap off, place your right foot onto the foot bar, then take the left strap off, come on in, place those straps back onto the silver pegs. All right, just lift your head up and then place your headrest down. We're gonna do some shoulder bridging here. All right, so. Hands are long down by your side body. Feet are gonna be on your heels or your arches. Knees are parallel hip width distance. Start with your neutral spine. Inhale through the 
through the nose. Exhale, tuck the tailbone up, squeeze the glutes, and just press your back down, so imprint spine. Now we're gonna work our way up by peeling one vertebrae off, squeezing the glutes. Lift, 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 lift. Keep reaching the knees. And then roll it down. Nice work. So slower the better for these first couple. Exhale, tuck the tailbone, squeeze the glutes, roll it up. Reaching through those toes, lifting those hips, and rolling it down. One more in this slow tempo. And one more, lift up. Good, and then rolling it down. All right, single leg, keeping with the theme of these legs today. Squeeze those legs together. Right leg goes straight up towards the ceiling. From here, we're gonna go tuck and curl, roll up, reach with the right toes, try to touch the ceiling, and then roll it down. So every time in the beginning of class when I said reach the legs straight up towards the ceiling, we're getting into the same feeling. The leg wants to feel long and energized, not weak at all. So try to keep the energy within the right leg, even though the left leg is doing most of the work with lifting our hips. Good, try not to move that carriage, squeeze the heels to the glutes. You were just watching, you saw my carriage move, so you're not alone. For two more. All right, we're gonna hold this next one up. Tuck and curl, roll it up. Hold it here. Now from here, flex the heel down, point the toe to lift. Flex the heel down, point the toe to lift. Flex the heel down, reach it away, point the toe to lift. For four, for three, two, and a one. Reach the toe high, and tuck and curl, rolling it down. Place that right foot down, lengthen the left leg up. Ooh, there's a little stretch there. <laughs> All right, tuck and curl, roll it up. And then rolling it down. Good, try not to um, let your weight of your right foot transfer to your outside or the inside of the foot. You wanna have it level through your heel or your arch. Roll it up, roll it down. Good, try to keep that leg moving, or sorry, not moving on the lift. Keep reaching all the way up. Four more. And a three. Long line of energy in that left leg. Good, keep squeezing the right heel to the right glute to keep that carriage at home, too. Hold this next one up, lift it up, hold it here, flex the left foot down, point to lift. Flex the left foot down, point to lift. Flex and reach, point to lift. For three, for two, and a one. Lift that foot all the way up, lift one more inch in the hips, roll it down. Awesome, take the feet wide onto the foot bar. Toes are pointing out to the diagonal. Find that neutral spine, take a big inhale. Exhale, tuck the pelvis, roll up each vertebrae at a time, lifting up to the top and then rolling back down. And so just with a wider leg here, keep the rolling of the spine, similar sensation as before. Rolling each vertebrae, feeling like you're peeling off a sticker as you go up. And then you're pressing the sticker back down from one side to the other as you go down. All right, we're gonna hold this next one up. All right, keep the lift of the hips. And then from here, you're gonna press the carriage out, lengthen long through the crown of your head. Keep those hips lifted and then bend it back in. Exhale, press it out. Now squeeze the heels to the glutes to pull the carriage back in. Awesome, press it out. And in, we got three more here. Out, and in, out and in, hug that rubber stopper, and then roll it back down. Now we're gonna do a modification of semicircle. So we're gonna tuck the hips up, hold it up at the top, press those legs out. Now from here, we're gonna roll from the rib cage to the low back, and then down to the tailbone, neutral spine, and then bend the carriage back in. Good, that three more times, tuck and curl, rolling it up. Press those legs out. Roll down from the top of the spine, middle spine, low back, tailbone, neutral spine now, and then bend it in. And I'll roll up, and out, and roll, and in. Last time, tuck and curl, roll it up. 
press it out and roll it down. Nice, now we're in reverse. Press that carriage all the way out. From here, keep those inner thighs working. Tuck the tailbone up, squeeze the glutes, lift up to the lifted hips, and then bend it back in. And now from here, roll the hips down once you're at home. Good, press the carriage out. Tuck and curl, roll up, squeezing the glutes. Bend the carriage in with the hips lifted. And roll it down two more times. Press the carriage out. And a lift the hips. And bend the carriage in. Roll it down last time. Press it out. Squeeze the glutes, lift the hips, and bend it in. Good, tuck and curl, rolling it down. Nice, from here we're gonna come up to a seated position. The toes are gonna stay onto that foot bar. Now from here, the heels together, toes apart, hands are gonna reach for the front edge of that carriage. If you don't absolutely touch, it's okay, but that's the reaching point. Now pull the belly button back as if you're gonna try to make a big bowl. So from here, keep squeezing those inner, inner heels together. Press the carriage out. Now hold here, squeeze those inner thighs. Keep reaching for the edge of the carriage. Poke the belly button back. Now notice, are your ears and your shoulders? Can you lengthen your ears out? Keep this nice U shape. And then bend it in. Exhale, press it out, squeeze the inner thighs. Bend it in. Exhale, press it out. Bend it in. Exhale, press it out. Bend it in. Exhale, press it out. Now hold here. We're gonna add a heel lift. So we go under and up, bend it in. Exhale, press out, lower the heels. Lift the heels, bend it in. Out and a lower and a lift and in. Out and a lower and a lift and in. Good, nice. From here, bend it all the way back in. Keep the feet where they're at. Now lengthen the arms up. Reach to the crown of the head. Squeeze those heels. This becomes much more difficult. You need to place your hands down, you can. Reach those arms, press those legs. Keep the straight spine. Bend it in. Ooh, my legs are shaking. Long, and it in. Last two, and it in. Hold this one out, we're gonna add a heel lift. Lower, and a lift, and in. Out, lower, and a lift, and in. Ooh, out, and a lower, and a lift, last one. And a lower, and a lift. Good, bend it in. Place those hands onto the foot bar. From here, you can rotate the heels to parallel so the knees are inside of the arms. Press those legs straight, and a well-deserved forward fold. Good, if you need to bend those knees slightly, go for it. Whatever feels best here. Good, let the head fall. Let's take two big breaths here. Inhale through your nose. And exhale out of your mouth. Inhale through your nose. And exhale. Good, drop the right heel underneath. Bend the left knee. You'll feel this a lot in your calf. Keep those shoulders reaching away from your ears, even though we're in a stretch. And then opposite side, drop the left heel under, right knee bends. Nice, both heels underneath. Bend that carriage in. Take a step off to the side. All right, so from here, we're gonna take the carriage down to a single yellow, going into an Eve's lunge. From, with the right foot up by the foot bar, left foot back onto the shoulder block. And then lift the chest, crown of the head high. From here, make sure the toes are facing forward of the right foot. Bend into the right knee, send the left foot back. Lift through the crown of the head here. Try not to collapse down. We still want to find a lift. So those abs are still working, but you'll feel a nice long stretch in the front of that left hip flexor. Lifting tall through the crown of the head. Take an inhale and exhale, press it up. Nice, now keep the front leg straight. You have the option of flexing the front foot or keeping the toes reaching long. Straighten back with the front leg. I prefer a flex with the front foot. That's just my preference. And you're just gonna press back. Keeping the left leg long, keeping the right leg long. If the knee is off the carriage, make sure it comes down. And then bend the right knee in, come on in, come up to standing. Good, and we'll work our way over to the other side. All right, so from here, left foot forward, right foot up onto the shoulder block. 
Lift the right hip flexor up and lift the crown of the head. Bend deep into the front leg. Find a nice long stretch here. Lifting up through the crown of the head. Good, make sure you're pulling that left hip crease back. Awesome. Feeling the lift of the right rib cage, pulling away from that right hip. And then come on in, come up to standing. Now again, choose, flex or point the front foot, but keep the front leg nice and straight and press it all the way back. Flex the front foot, if that feels good, or reach it. For me, I like the flex. Keep both hands pressing onto something. And then shoulder blades down. Lifting in the belly button. Two breaths here. And out. One more breath. And out, come on in. All right, come standing, both feet on the ground. Take those feet wider than your hips. Good, make sure there's angled outward. Take those arms out and up. Take a big inhale. And then exhale, big plie down. Inhale up. And exhale, plie down. Three more times like that. Inhale, expand everything in opposite directions. And exhale down. One more time, inhale up. And exhale down. Good, straighten those legs. Bring both legs together. Take the arms up. And then exhale, tuck the chin, roll it down. Reach the hands down to the ground. Good, bend the knees if you need to. Feel the weight of your head falling down. Ears feeling like they're, they're pouring out to the ground. Take two breaths, inhale. And exhale, slightly bend the knees on this next one, inhale. And exhale, slowly roll up for three, four, two, and a one. <sighs> Thank you so much. My legs are shaking. I hope yours are at home. Again, my name is Ari, and I hope you enjoyed today's class. Thank you so much.